good morning everyone I'm just on my way to collect my sister we basically I went this morning to get my eyelashes done so I had my eyelash appointment with Emma and then I came home and the idea was to head out the house to the shopping center with Marcus just to pick up the final presents we ordered some online but we just got three I think we need to actually pick up in the shops and as we were just getting ready, or as I was getting ready, we got a text from the person, or my sister got a text from the person that's handmade our footstools for my dressing room, I don't know where she's putting hers, and she said it's ready to collect. So obviously we're too excited and plans changed a little bit and we're gonna go now, I'm gonna go to my sister's, pick her up, we're in the same bubble and we're gonna go drive down to pick up our footstools. So I'm very, very excited because that means that I can set the dressing room up tonight, get a better idea, visualize it, see how it looks, or physically see it, and then see if there's anything else I want to add in there to sort of add the finishing touches. So I'm very, very excited. These footstools are handmade. I think my sister found this person on Facebook Marketplace. I've not spoken to myself. Uh, I think they seem to be all right. It would depend on how they are. I'll let you know and I'll tell you the details in case you're interested in ordering them for yourself. She got a just like a plain footstool. I think she got hers in like a like a dark blue, and I got mine in like a very nude pink sort of colour. Two separate things, but like a nude pink colour. And I just thought that that would look nice, like a bit of a blush colour, because if I was to ever change the deck or whatever it is then sort of that matches that could go with like a lot i was gonna get black but i thought no with the cats and alaska's hair you would just i'd need to lint roll it roll it constantly and i can't be bothered with that so that's the color i went for so i'm very excited to see it my sister got it plain and i think she got it with wheels on the bottom on the feet and i got it with wooden instead of metal bottoms because i thought wooden's a little bit more classic and metal it'd bug me if i could see like marks on it and then i also got mine um with hinges so the top lifts up uh, she said the lady said to my sister you can't store massive amount in there probably a couple of magazines or whatever but the option was there and i always if there's any chance for me to have extra storage i always go for it and then after i've done that i've got to run all the way back home i'm gonna collect marcus and then we are gonna go to the shopping center i would go on my own but i kind of want to go with marcus he never goes out with me anymore just these days it's always just me running around to all the shops on my own it's oh, i think we're just both so tired i'm absolutely exhausted of going to the shops and i'm sure you guys are exhausted of like watching me do that as well and i'm hoping we make it back on time because yeah time is of the essence today and i really am trying to make the most out of it but i'll catch up with you guys when i'm a little bit closer once i've picked up the footstools <laughs> this is how thick my sister is we're all, we're all, we're almost and now, just now, she decides to check the measurements. And the third exit and she decides to check the measurements of the footstool. And she's realised that she may have ordered the 95 centimetres and she thought it was 95 inches. <laughs> so we might literally be getting footstools and not bloody what they like dressing stools. Oh, if you've done that, you're so thick. Eh? How big is it? <laughs> <laughs> Stupid cow! <laughs> we don't think we've ordered the right stuff. But then what can we do? Because they actually make them to order, so it's not like you can just go there and swap it. I'm not paying 65 pounds for that. No wonder we thought it was a bloody parking you stupid cow. She made me take the prom out of the car so I could put the seats down to fit these in. You have to fit them on your lap. <laughs> I was sat waiting for them to bring the stools out. They brought one out and it was big, it was big, but he was like black, like no, we showed a navy and mink. <laughs> I don't imagine we're getting happy now thinking, oh yeah, it's the big one, but he's going to come out with the actual order, it's going to be tiny. <laughs> we're so thick, why don't we know the difference between 95 centimetres and inches? How oh, look, centimetres, that's 30, 60, 90, a bit more. Oh. But I could deliver it to you for free. Is that all right? Which one did you get wrong? The black or the blue? No, he, he, instead of doing it, you wanted navy, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Blue, but there's, there's the blue one made, but it's not opening. And obviously. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, gotcha, come. come in and have a look. Oh, I'm going to do that. Right, two sets, guys. Oh, you guys, I just dealt with the biggest 
poop attack, Marcus. Is that not the biggest poop attack? I know, don't tell people. What do you mean? It was all up your back. Why are you telling them about it? <laughs> no, me, it's the poop attack. It was horrendous. I literally, we just got out of the car, all up her side, all on her arm, absolutely everywhere. So we're just rushing into the shopping centre now to get the bits that we need. Right guys, we have just come back. Oh, ready to put the shopping out. So we turned to Aldi and Tesco and just did a quick shop. Hopefully this will last us somewhat of the week. Uh, Marcus and I have got stockings this year. So I just picked up a couple of stocking fillers for us. He's been after celebrations for bloody ages. But yeah, we just needed to do a quick food shop. Did not plan on getting any of this. Literally just went in for the usual like base meal and walked out with all of this. But Alhamdulillah, we've got everything. So I'm going to go ahead... We are having, I know Marcus is going to kill me because I know he keeps mentioning it on the vlog and it's funny to a point, but it's getting to a point where it's not funny anymore. That I'm not cooking because I just don't have the time doing like these vlogs and everything. So the girls and I and Marcus are going to have spicy veggie bean burgers in ciabatta with melted mozzarella on top. Delish, garlic bread. Uh, I've got my sister's sons as well because we're babysitting and they're going to have some pizza with some Ooh. chips. <gasps> what are you going to eat, Memes? Do you put your fingers in? You have some veggie fingers. And yeah, I'm going to put some veggie fingers in. And I bought these pizza bases. I know someone said that on the vlog that they made the pizza as well. Um, I will get back to the uh, comments, I promise, if I haven't already. And yeah, these pizza bases are really delicious. And I bought some other like snacky bits and whatnot. So, time to get the food on. Right, my loves. I'm going to, God says, just check on the food quickly. Then I promise I will come up. I'm going to clean up the dressing room put the ottoman down and then show you it in all its glory and yeah hopefully i like the finished product and the finished effect of it i'm very excited however i also need to wrap some presents and obviously feed the kids feed myself feed marcus feed mia and what else i've got some else i need to make the vlog live i'm sorry yesterday's vlog was just very short I was I was exhausted. I can't even explain to you how tired I was. So that's that. But let me crack on and then catch up with you and show you yeah the room. I'm so excited. The most basic dinner you could have: some garlic bread chips, mozzarella sticks, spring rolls, melted mozzarella on the spicy veggie burger. Usually I put spinach and sauce on there, but not spinach. I'll put sauce on there. So basic, but does the trick. Right, yours, my loves. You've seen me do this many a times, but to quickly spruce up this dressing room and then I can go ahead and put the ottoman down I am very excited and then I think the final thing I need for this room would be just the lights for the wardrobe so it looks nice and illuminated and yeah I don't know I still feel like I need something on that wall but I don't want to overdo it and Marcus doesn't like the mirror in this room because he said it's too big I love the mirror in this room and I know a lot of you also do it's not the design that he doesn't like because that is a beautiful design and no one can you know argue that it's the fact that he's too tall for it so he says that he has to stand really far back to see his outfit Um, they made it in black 
But then I saw the because on the way there, funny enough, I said to my sister's sister that you should have got it in black because you're not gonna have that blue. What's up? You're not gonna have that blue forever. So I just said to her you should just take it, so she ended up taking the black. Really nice. beautiful right i don't know if they are on instagram because my sister found them on facebook marketplace and i don't have facebook so i'll find out what the company is called and i'll link it somewhere whether it's on my instagram on youtube whatever it is and then looks so then he made this for us my sister wasn't going to get this but then the black one that he made for her actually also had the storage too so she's quite lucky that they made a mistake because it turned out better i think so it's quite deep like the storage and the girl also told us that oh you only fit a couple of ma like magazines in and stuff but it's actually quite deep you'd be able to fit a lot more in that so i think she was a little bit confused you need to give it a bit of a hoover but that's brilliant for extra storage like you know if you've got actually extra shoes because we're running out of shoe space up here I think mean, that's perfect and oh my god I don't feel like this is the grand reveal I promised you but I think it looks very very nice it goes perfectly with the carpet so yeah I need to make it a little bit more central but I love it I think it's so nice it like finishes the room I need to sort all the clothes out but finishes the room off so nicely I'm gonna turn it around so the hinges are facing that way so you don't see it when you walk in straight away but oh <gasps> I love it, I'm so glad I went for this colour, it was like a mink colour Yeah, it's a lot more of a mink colour than it was, I thought it was a bit of a blush pink but it's not And I'm really really chuffed with it, so pleased And for £65 it was an absolute bargain I think it's cool so I'm so, so excited to get the lights now for the wardrobes To finish them off a little bit The cats will probably destroy it but I'll let you know Hey guys, so we've just cleaned the kitchen bless rayon's i need they have gone in hard on cleaning that kitchen i'd not be able to do it without them i've decided i'm gonna actually start wrapping some presents otherwise we'll end up leaving it last minute and then flapping because we've not wrapped the presents so i'm getting the tape ready and i'm gonna see what we're doing how so it's gonna be a little bit awkward i'm not just, i'm not sure how to wrap this i don't know if i'm gonna show all of the presents because obviously i don't want anyone that's gonna get a present to watch this however i don't think anyone who we bought presents for care enough to watch my stuff so <laughs> might be all right to be fair i feel like i do need to put some form of disclaimer out there that i'm the worst present wrapper there is honestly like i've got no natural knack for it whatsoever girls hit me up with the first one I see all them tiktok videos and i feel like they look so cool and how everyone knows i trap all these presents and they do it in different ways and like <laughs> this is how unprepared we are we're gonna have to do it with a knife oh if someone knows i trap presents and watching this they'll probably be absolutely screaming ray hold this then let's try and are you sure we've got no scissors I'm ripping the paper, we need scissors. Stop. Oh, I'm absolutely buttering it. Oh, it looks like a bear's pulled at it. Oh my God, I'm so bad at it. Right, Ray, do you wanna get me some tape off, please? Okay, we'll ignore the back part of it. You know what I you know what I feel like I should do? I should apply for a job at the perfume shop, right? Hear me out. Apply for a job at the perfume shop, get the job, because I will, and then go through training, learn how to wrap presents, and then just quit. I think that's I think that's the only way to do it. A bit offended my nephew won't watch this vlog, but yeah, alright, we'll go with that. I don't think I've got enough wrapping paper by the way at all.
watched a TikTok on how to wrap something cylinder, so we're gonna give this a go. Uh, so you want to get the TikTok up again? So it says that you wrap this in the corners, and then I'm pretty sure you wrap that now. That. Is that right? Yeah. What did you? As far how did you find it? Did you just type in wrap something cylinder. Oh, did you? <laughs> how to wrap something cylinder? All right, let's hope it works. Well, apparently, you bring this over. Cylinder shape. Oh my god, we should have actually watched the videos because that I think is going to work. It's pretty easy. Me a Russian expert, but look at the terrible job I've done on the rest of him. Presents. However, this is just a few of them where they look decent at the front <laughs> But we're not gonna turn them over. No, we, do, we don't want to see what's on the other side basically Guys, so it is very late. I think it's more or less midnight now and I am shattered I'm gonna go to bed because Marcus have been asleep for ages and I was like that is a good show. I'll see you soon and This is just where it's taken me to the point of being that tired um, tomorrow's going to be quite an eventful day, I've got to do, well not eventful, not really, I've got to go to the post office, I've got to film something, some holiday looks, which is exciting, and I've got like a Zoom meeting as well, and very exciting stuff for me, but not nothing exciting for you. Um, but I do actually want to take just a minute out as well and just say thank you so much for everyone who's watched all the vlogs with me so far. I appreciate it so much and all of your comments. I'm so sorry it takes me so much time to get back to them but I do read them and I appreciate every single one and I will reply. It's just a case of you see how my day has gone. Like I literally I pick up the camera and my morning's been hectic. I then crack on with the day and I don't finish till late at night and then I'm back up in the morning and it's not i'm not playing my own violin there i'm just saying that you guys can you know physically see that where my time goes it's crazy um but yes i am very much gonna go head up to bed now marcus is there i'm very jealous that he's had a lot of sleep so far and i'll catch you guys up for the next vlog tomorrow see ya